Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're shooting our video with a GoPro Hero 7. It's the first time using it. We're shooting in 3K resolution because that's the highest resolution you can go and still use the video stabilization built into the camera. So today I want to talk a little bit about work holding and specifically work holding on a five axis machine. So we got these little vices made by fifth axis or actually they're called dovetail fixtures. And what they do is if you have a pre-machined dovetail in your slot, you put the dovetail on here and it tightens against it and it sucks the part down onto these ground faces. So here's our part after it was machined. And you can see we put this little sacrificial base on it with a dovetail angle and a little slot to locate on the pin. Now, a problem we had was we went with the smallest vise available, or almost one, the second smallest, I think, um, because we wanted the most, we wanted to be able to use the most of our machine. So in other words, when this machine goes 90 degrees, oh, wrong way. This machine, it's a Herco VM10U. With this 90 degrees, our tool can only come out about eight and a half degrees. So we want our work as close to the, the platter as possible. And that actually helps you a lot with rigidity because you, know, you don't wanna be way out chattering. But you'll notice on a lot of machines, they actually, or a lot of fixturing, they actually move it away from the machine I like they move they have like a little riser block which which gets really thin and that's because of tool clearance whereas here the tool clearance is a concern but we're lucky to have a smaller platter and we don't have to worry is because basically what happens is this quill can hit this so you want to move your work away so you could fit the quill um down past the the platter but we're lucky here, we have a smaller diameter. So if we have a long tool, like a 4.7 inch tool, we could basically get right over to here without having to worry about the, the quill colliding. So that's why we went with this little tiny guy. But the problem we had was, we had to torque it down pretty tight. And this thing says to only go about 90 foot pounds or inch pounds, 90 inch pounds. We probably did 90 foot pounds. It's way too much, but um, because we're getting a little chatter, I don't know if you could see it on the edge of the part here, start to lose a little rigidity. So we tried to tighten this more and actually what's happening is the dovetail was actually deforming a little, which is fine. The dovetail only, it's only the clamping feature. The part's actually held down here. It's actually held down on this face here. The dovetail has it as it squeezes this, it sucks down. It's a really cool design. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I definitely recommend going a size up if you're gonna be doing anything like this. We actually got the next size up, which is the D22. And it's got way bigger of a dovetail. I think the D115 is like 80 thou, this is 150 thou. So you can hold a lot better. It's also pretty cool, you got this little locating pin here so you can machine a slot a few tenths bigger i think we went like five tenths bigger than the, the pin so that when you put this on this drops in and now you're located this way and this way so that's really powerful um, but you also have some other options here's another vice they make the reason we're not we didn't go with this on this job was your the space from your platter like i mentioned is so high but i mean you're gonna get way more rigidity with something like this so just just something to really keep in mind you really got to think you know what kind of part you're using and you know what you can get away with um we were machining these like this and then we found out using that little d115 in the machine if we put it down on its side um we got way more rigidity than standing it straight up so that's something to take into account too. Now, putting on the side, we might have actually been able to go with this because now we're sitting way lower to the platter. 
I do still really like this vise though because it's got a really small footprint. So when you put your part on there, you could machine all around it all the way to your platter because the, the footprint's so small for certain parts, the part overlaps this and you have way more clearance. So just something to keep in mind when you're trying to, you know, you're trying to tool this up. This platter we made ourselves, you can buy these and you can buy them with pull studs and pallets so you can have all different sorts of vices and chucks that you throw on and off. So that's something to consider too. Um, yeah. So anyway, got thanks for uh, watching today and please subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions in the comments or you have any advice on five axis work holding, I'd love to see it. Um, some people, they, they take these things and they put like four of them on there on different angles and it's really cool like the setups you can come up with all right guys stay tuned for more videos thank you bye bye